Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So winter is coming and as you know, in the winter I use more of a cool toned eyeshadows. I like my purple, purples, burgundies, uh, greys and cooler browns. So I have just bought this brand new Morphe palette 9M which is called Midnight June. You get nine eyeshadows here, only three shimmers and six mattes. And as you can see, they are definitely cool. There is no warmth to it whatsoever. And when I was looking at this palette, I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder if this is in any shape or form similar to the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So I have here, the Glam Palette. And I saw some shades that would be very similar. So I swatched the ones that I thought you would be similar. So have a look. So the top row are shades from Natasha Denona and the bottom row the Morphe palette. As you can see, the mattes that I've picked out are very, very similar, almost identical. Um, the two shimmers are a bit different and these were the only shimmers that matched in any way. Um, also, Morphe has only three shimmers in there and Natasha Denona has three, five, seven, about eight. So they are definitely different. So yes, definitely if you're after that sort of look, Natasha Denona is quite expensive. The Morphe palette was 13 pounds, I think. I know people might say, oh, autumn colors are warm, you know, browns and rusty. I don't go by seasons I go by the skin tone so in the summer I tan so therefore I look better with warmer shades but in the winter I go much paler and at that time more of a neutral and cool tone suit me. I can go slightly warm I would say neutral but if I go with those really really warm browns it just does not look right when I'm paler so I don't feel like you should match your eyeshadows to the season of the year you should match it to your own skin tone at the time so I am going to do a look with this palette um, I do love this one because this one has a couple of neutral browns like these ones here and it has a nice pale gold and few shimmers are slightly pinker so to me this is perfect whereas this one straight cool tone eyeshadows you will not get any warmth i like to sometimes when i have a very cool palette put in my transition slightly warmer shadow sort of to sort of balance it but this is lovely palette I've used it once and uh, performs really nice I like Morphe eyeshadows my all-time favorite Morphe eyeshadow palette is the first collaboration with Jaclyn Hill the big one that palette is beautiful and I have it to this day okay let's do the look Okay, I am not going to read the names of the eyeshadows. They are on the back, but it is so hard to tell. They are usually back to front. But to not confuse you, I will just put the picture of the palette with the marker which eyeshadow I'm using. Rifa 01. I'm going to the first eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it in my crease. I'm going to concentrate on an outer V first. Okay. 
they are nicely pigmented and blend out really nicely I'm going to keep blending it very gently upwards can you see how cool that eyeshadow is and with whatever I've got left I'm pulling it right up to here I will blend the rest later with a clean brush I don't want it to get too muddy now with the same brush I'm going to go to this middle darkish brown and start shading the outer V with it just pat it in and then pull it into the crease this is why I'm going to take the Rifa 15 and start blending the edges now on Rifa 02 I'm going to one of the shimmers and I'm going to start applying it here in the middle almost to the corner of my eye but not right into the corner I will put something lighter in there oh that is gorgeous that is sort of pewter Now I'm going to take Rifa 28 and go to the lighter shimmer and apply that in a, in a corner. You could wet these eyeshadows, you will get much more intense look and a bit less fallout, you get a bit of fallout from these shimmers now on Rifa 23 I'm going to the darker brown and putting it quite close to my lash line And now right on the outer corner I'm going to go to this darkest brown Rifa 28 Take Rifa 15 and a blend the edges so this is the look we would just put mascara and go but if you want to wanted to make it really smoldery and dark we can add cold pencil this is my old cold pencil that is not sold anymore from Maybelline but any black cold pencil so I will just line halfway on the top of my lash line I will wing it and I will put that in my waterline Notice when I do my waterline, I never go right into the corner. If you like that, then that's fine, you can do it. But I never do it. I just like to keep my inner corner as light as possible because that pushes your eyes away and makes them a bit bigger. Um, and also I don't like when this black thing keeps collecting, you know, in, right in your inner corner. Right, I'm going to apply mascara now and we are done. And that's the finished look.
I really like it. It reminds me, you know, I haven't been playing with eyeshadows all through the summer, so I'm looking forward to playing with more. In the summer, I tend to just wear something really simple and brown on my eyes, but in the winter, I like to play. Uh, for my, my mascara, I use the Anastasia Lash Brag, I think it's called, yeah, Lash Brag Mascara. On my lips, I forgot to bring down here any lipsticks. I have, I've got some here in a drawer. So I just use Los Angeles Lip Liner from NYX and the Too Faced Raising the Roof, which is no longer available. I probably would use something nude and cool on my lips like the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Kim KW lipstick with maybe her iconic nude uh, but that's all I had done here and I couldn't be bothered to go and get it. <laughs> so this is the finished look let me know what you think I will list everything that I've used down below please always check the description box including my wig and what I'm wearing I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye